In this video I will uh, deal with the subject matter of converting feet inches measurements to decimal inches and I will compare the two uh, side by side or one underneath each other. Let's, uh, let's start with just what the heck is decimal inches. Let me give you an example here. Let's start with a measurement in feet inches. Say 7 feet, 8 inches and three-eighths. That's a measurement. There are inches. That's a measurement in feet and inches and some fractions of an inch. So that's properly feet, inches and fractions of an inch. And this is going to be converted to decimal inches. It's uh, fairly straightforward, but uh, to do this, I'm going to treat the seven foot eight inch portion separately and I will treat the three eight portion separately again so this calculation takes uh, two stages the seven foot eight needs to be converted into inches and this is how it's done every foot has twelve inches so so at 7 times 12 inches is 7 feet. 7 times 12 is 7 by 2 is 14. And the one remainder, 7 times 1 is 7 plus the one remainder, that's 84 inches. And to that 84 inches, we have to add 8 more inches. 8 plus 4 is 12, that's 92 inches in total. 7 feet 8 inches is 92 inches. So far so good. Now we're going to deal with the 3 8 portion. And out of the 3 8 we have to convert it into just, just a common decimal. What do I mean by a common decimal? This is what I mean. 3 has to be divided by the 8. That's what I mean. The decimal inches is a combination of the total of inches and the inch fraction converted into a decimal format. Uh, just this conversion alone is also on another title, converting a fraction to a decimal. And uh, that's exactly what we're doing, converting a common fraction to a common decimal. It's not in and of itself, this is not an inch decimal, it's not a foot decimal, it's not a special decimal, this is just a common decimal. And when this common decimal is combined with these inches, the total of it will become the decimal inches. So let's see how this one works here. 8 doesn't go into the 3, 8 does go into the 30, and it does so. Let me see. 3 times. 3 times 8 is 24, we have a remainder of 6, 60, 8 goes into 60, 7 times, 7 times 8 is 56, so we have a remainder of 4, that's a 40 there, 8 goes into 40, 5 times with no remainder. So. Uh, now we have a decimal number here and an inch amount there. We have to add the two together. We have to add the 92 inches with the 0 0.375. And the total of it is 92.375 inches. That's what an inch decimal is. 7 feet 8 inches and uh, 3 eighths of an inch is the same as 92.375 inches. Now, where would we use 92.375 inches? Well, uh, it is easier to calculate in inches than in inch decimals than in feet decimals. It is easier to uh, multiply and uh, fewer steps to make an inch decimal. You're working with whole numbers all the way, 
because uh, the seven, the original seven, that is a whole number. The twelve is a whole number. Their multiple is a whole number. Uh, this one is stays a whole number. The only, and this one is a terminating uh, decimal with a finite digit with three decimal places. The accuracy is of inch decimals is greater than uh, foot decimals accuracy. Let's convert this number, this seven foot eight inch and three quarter three eight, into a foot decimals. And this is how it's done. The seven point zero seven feet is seven point zero in uh, feet decimals. Eight inches is. 8 out of 12 because uh, because 8 inches is 8 twelfth of a foot and the 3 eighths is and this is a strange number is 3 eighths of 3 8 twelfths of a foot and uh, you have to uh, do these divisions and you have to add the total of everything so that's 7.0 8 over 12 I'm just gonna pick up some speed here with a calculator 8 over 12 is 0 0.66666 and this is where one of our problems is it is inaccurate if I just write 1 6 it's not gonna be accurate enough it's a non terminating infinite decimal here and to this we have to add one more number 3 divided by 8 divided by 12 that number is uh, one, three, one, two, five. Let me see, two, four, five digits there. Okay, they kind of line up. I didn't line them up super nicely, but <clears throat> you see where the problem is. If I just add 0 0.66 to it, it's gonna be less accurate than if I added 0 0.6666 to it. But for ultimate accuracy, you should really fill the screen with. <clears throat> with the uh, sixes there and then press equals and that's seven point six nine seven nine one six and that's six, six is a repeating digit six feet eight inches and three eighths is the same in decimal feet as 7.697916 feet but is the same as 92.375 inches and because this decimal only has three significant digits and is finished this one has here two four five six significant digits and the last one is a repeating one it's it's harder to work with this one it takes uh, more attention to detail to copy these numbers to do those di divisions this one is done with whole numbers and done easier and faster so and that's what an inch, inch decimal is and that's what the uh, benefits in calculating uh, inch decimals is basically you have to be able to do both now let's convert from an inch decimal back to inches and fractions of an inch uh, how about how about a decimal number like fifty three point four three seven five inches fifty three point four three seven five inches how do we convert it into inches and fractions of one inch say uh, this number is a result of a calculation uh, we cannot use it as is unless you have a surveyor's tape or engineer's tape uh, you need to make a, an inches and a fraction out of it real fast the whole number part is obviously the inches part so this just becomes 53 inches but what do we do with the remaining uh, decimal digits well after this one you have to make a fraction. Oh, it's easy. It's 4,375 over 10. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 10,000. There we go. Now we have a fraction out of it. 
All right, we have a fraction out of it, but 4,375 over 10,000 cannot be found on tape measure. This must be reduced to its lowest terms. Let's see how it works on a calculator. Uh, this one is a number that ends on a 5. This one is a number that ends on a 0. This one will divide by 5, and this one will also be divided by 5, because the multiples of 5 are 5, 10, they always end on a 5 and a 0, a 5 and a 0. So this one is divisible by 5, that one is divisible by 10. Let's uh, pick up some speed here and do it on a calculator. Divide by 10, 1000. So we have that number on the display. And uh, let's see what happens when I hit the ABC button. Oh, I hit the ABC button and it says 7 sixteenths of an inch. 7 over 16. So, if we reduce this number, this fraction, uh, eventually it becomes 7 sixteenths. And to do that, uh, this fraction, this 4,375, must be reduced by a factor of 625. 625. Uh, a factor of reduction there. Now, I didn't just uh, uh, look at it, I just calculated it real fast on a calculator. But that's what the calculator did in one step when, it, when the calculator reduced this 10 based fraction to 7 sixteenths. So the answer is to the question what is this decimal inch in inches and uh, a fraction? It's 53 inches and 7 sixteenths of an inch. And if you need to make feet out of 53 inches, you're going to have to subtract from the 53. Uh, well, let's see, 12, 24, 36, 48, we can subtract 48 inches from it, because 48 is, uh, 48 is 4 times 12, so that's 4 feet. So if we take away 48, then we have a remainder of 5 inches at the end of it. In other words, this 53 inches is 4 feet 5 inches and then we still have the 7 sixteenths of an inch there. 4 feet 5 inches and 7 sixteenths is or just 53 in inches and 7 sixteenths just as good. So that's what an inch decimal is and that's how it works from uh, decimal inches back to inches and the fraction and from uh, and from feet inches measurement to decimal inches 